welcome back. Um, just kind of wanted to make a video about some of the stuff we had going on, some of the things that we're kind of moving around and doing things. Um, I'd like to start off with just saying it's been a very busy summer. Um, had a lot of things going on. I've been, you know, working on my, you know, my dad's place, getting the shop all set up, so I can actually store cars in there through the winter, and then I can go in there and work on cars and do things like that. That being said, I made a lot of moves, things have happened, and just kind of want to show you where we're at currently. Initially, I had some cars at my house, I had some, I tried to put cars up at my dad's place, and I had some cars in a storage unit. That was kind of the problem, as um, there's, um, including my wife's car, there's 10 cars total. And so, to get through them all, or to have a place for them all, I had to get storage units. And you know that becomes you know there's a cost to that and it's a pain in the butt. So when I bought my dad's place, that was kind of one of the things I was trying to get out of it was um, be able to put my cars in his shop. He had a 30 by 30 shop, and I figured I could at least put a few in there. So having said that, this is kind of where I'm at currently. Um, I'll kind of go over each car and you know where they're where the status of each one of them is. So first off, we have Skyline. It still starts and everything, but there's definitely something wrong with the motor. Um, so I'm gonna pull it this over the course of the winter. So I got it brought into the shop or into my garage at my house. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motor, look at it, um, and we'll just see kind of how bad it is. Um, it obviously needs a rebuild, but hopefully it won't be too terrible. So that's what's going on with the Skyline. Next. I got the NSX, pulled that out of the shop. It's just been sitting there all year. Um, I brought it home, changed the fluids. I've driven it around a couple times, but I bet I have put 100 miles on it all year. So it's kind of sad, kind of sucks. Try to get it out a little bit more before it gets too bad. Um, we had a snowy day earlier, but now it, you know, it's cold, but it's you know 50 degrees. So I might actually have a little bit of time left while I'm out here. I have my pickup. I went and traded out my Ram for a diesel. So now I have an F250, you know, diesel. Um, it's pretty great so far. And while we're out here as well, this is my daily driver still. Still just driving the Honda around. Um, really isn't giving me any issues. Um, it still needs, you know, it's not pretty, but it still looks as good as it ever did. Um, yeah, still drive it to work, putting miles on it. <laughs> Next up is my actual shop at my house. And in that, I have the S14. Honestly, I still can't get the stupid thing to fire. Um, it's still not getting fuel. So I'm still pulling my hair out with it a little bit and I am going to continue to uh, troubleshoot it. And now that it's in here, now I can get under it and things like that, look at anything, but see if there's anything weird about it. But right now it's a fuel issue still. But hopefully over the course of the winter, now that it's in here, I'll be able to spend a little bit more time on it. And then last car I have at my house, I have the, the RV pad. And that is the drift car. So, got that out here, still runs and drives. Um, there was a drift event actually today, but you know, I was doing some stuff around the house trying to get stuff cleaned up before the, um, before it gets too cold and snow falls. So, I missed out on the last drift event of the year. So, I'll be looking forward to spending next year doing quite a bit more drifting. I spent, tried to dedicate a lot of time this year to house stuff. So next year I could kind of um, do a lot more car stuff. So, yep, got S13 just kind of hanging out and be driving it a lot more next year. <clears throat> and that's for all the cars in my house. So now we'll go up to my, <clears throat> up to my dad's place and I'll show you the last few. Hey, now we're at my dad's place. Um, and this is, this is the shop right here. So we'll go on in. Excuse the mess. I was trying to get it in order, but yeah, just a 30 by 30 shop. And got the Datsun in here, got the FD, 
and the charger. So we'll start with the charger. So it's in the similar position it was last time. Um, haven't done a lot to it. Started to get the roof smoothed out and kind of been in order. Then we'll get it upholstered and we'll um, do a little bit of body work and paint. So that's where I want this one to be. Um, and at that point it'll be running, driving, kind of good to go. I'm still kind of mixed on the vinyl top. But I, right now we're going to move towards the slick top and if we you know, decide after, I might throw the vinyl top back on and see how it looks and we may change. But from there, this is something I've had up here for actually a long time, is I have the 440. <clears throat> Sitting here it needs, you know, torn down, rebuilt. But this is what I eventually want to put in the charger. So yeah, we'll get it running, driving, looking good, and then we will start on rebuild and make it actually fast. So the charger, that's where I want to be. The FD, um, it runs drive, it still has a cooling issue, so I'm still working that out. Um, we'll get that. I need to get the fan rewired, and then I think I just need to get the coolant bled properly. And then that's a running, driving, fun little FD. I want to drive it around, um, but I just really need to get it cooled and then drive it around, enjoy it. And then the Datsun. The Datsun is almost perfect. Um, it's fun to drive, it's really cool. Um, it does take 93, where we're in Idaho, 93 isn't available, so I can mix fuel and make 93, or I can get it retuned for 91. And that's what I would like to do in the long term. But for now, I've just been, you know, I'm just gonna be mixing gas. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was pulling it in, bent the stupid lip so got to get that fixed um, yeah I was pretty upset about that but it is what it is I guess it happened but I need to get that fixed and then I also cracked this plastic bumper so then just be little maintenance things getting it cleaned up getting it back to being you know beautiful again but it's a fun car it's a neat car to take out, so I'm just gonna continue to enjoy that one. I have all this stuff kind of put away for the winter for right now, but we'll just uh, do that. We'll <clears throat> take care of it all for the time being, and in spring we'll get it out and enjoy it. <clears throat> a couple other projects that I wanna get to when I have time is I have a KA24. I wanna turbo it, um, rebuild it, boost it, and put it in the S13 for the drift car. I don't know when I'll get around to it, but that is a project on the horizon. As well as rebuilding the 13B. I want to look into like bridge porting and some of the other kind of things like that. And the RX-7 is really fast and fun. Or what? Maybe not fast, but it's really fun. And I actually want to see if I can make it a little bit faster, make it a little bit funner. So those are a couple side projects that I want to do, but. As far as the outlook, that's the stuff where I want to be working on. And I finally got all my cars under a roof, minus the S13 that's in the RV pad, but got everything all together on my properties and I'm out of storage units and things like that. So now I have a couple different areas to work. And so hopefully we'll actually get some more stuff churned out and that's what we'll try to do. So <clears throat> that's all I have for projects and kind of currently where they're at. Um, yeah, if you see anything or there's anything that you want to take priority, the next thing, um, let me know. Until then, see you next time. Really isn't giving me any issues. <laughs>